Hi, CityLine.ca viewers. It's Laura Keough from Sweet Potato Chronicles, and I'm back again with another monthly series. And for the next five weeks, we're going to be sharing with you our top and most favorite recipes from our new book, How to Feed a Family. And we're so excited to dig right in with our first recipe, breakfast. So, the breakfast we decided to do today for you guys is one of our all-time favorites. In fact, it's my daughter's favorite. It's sweet potato French toast, and it's super easy. You could even do this on a school morning. I like to cut my bread up into sticks because I think kids like it when food, food looks cute. And I kind of like it when food looks cute too. So, I'm just starting off here with two eggs, and we're gonna beat them in a medium-sized bowl. And then I've got about half a cup of milk that I'm gonna add to it. And I have a pan over here that has been preheated and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna let that melt down and get all warm and happy. I have right here, it's actually um, a puree of sweet potato that you can buy in any store. You don't have to, if you have time, puree your own. This is a, one of those time-saving things that you could do is buy it already out of a can or a carton. And I'm putting about a quarter of a cup of sweet potato puree. And you're just gonna wanna whisk that right through into your eggs. And I like to add a little bit of vanilla extract because it just sweetens the deal for the kids. And then I also have a bit of nutmeg and cinnamon that I'm gonna sprinkle in because you really kinda can't make French toast without cinnamon, at least I can't. And my daughter usually insists that more cinnamon is sprinkled on top at the end. So now we're just gonna drop our sticks and I've got multi-grain bread here, so you're gonna promise to use multi-grain bread, right? Um, and I just drop them right into the dish. And I dunk them down into the mixture and make sure all of our lovely sweet potato juices are covering, covering our sticks. And you're gonna wanna work in batches. So once you've got your pan nice and hot and the butter's melted, you can drop your sticks in right on to the heat. And just make sure they're all covered up nicely and they've soaked up all that delicious goodness. And sweet potato is so great for you too because it's full of vitamin A and lots of other antioxidants that are going to make sure your kid starts their day great. And so we're just gonna leave these in the pan for a few minutes and we'll let them get nice and brown on one side. So these are brown for about one or two minutes on this side. So we're ready to kind of give them a little flip and as you can see, the sweet potato gives them this awesome color, this harvesty, gorgeous little orange. It makes them look super delicious, which is probably why my daughter loves them. And we're gonna let them just sit for maybe another minute and brown through. And then we'll plate them up here. And because they're sticks, they're really fun. You can just kind of stack them up on each other like this. And you can also make this, if you have pumpkin puree lying around, you can use that instead of sweet potato puree, which is also oh so good. And we've got this little pile of lovely little sticks. And I like to serve it with a little agave nectar, but if you have maple syrup, that's great too. And like I said, I have to give mine a little extra sprinkling of cinnamon because as Scarlett says, you can really never have enough cinnamon in your life. So here you go. I hope you have a good day and a happy breakfast.